Today we probe our thoughts with a series of ink blots. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. When you look at this image, what is the first thing you see? Well, if you said a Rorschach test, then you're right. And if you said it out loud, well, you think this is Blue's Clues? <laughs> but yeah, this is an official inkblot image from the Rorschach test invented by Swiss psychiatrist Ammon Rorschach. Rorschach. In 1921 to study emotional functioning. Mm, and today we're gonna be submitting ourselves to the test and seeing what deep emotional secrets sneak to the surface. How does that make you feel? A little uneasy. Yeah. Uh, it's time for, Ooh. hey, is that a pigeon or the freaking Dalai Lama? Let's take the Rorschach and unearth some deep-rooted trauma. Research Rorschach related. The Rorschach test is used by psychologists or psychiatrists to analyze a patient's thought processes, and it can explain not only what a patient sees, but how they perceive things. To put it simply, it helps show how someone's mind works and it can spot issues they may not want to talk mm -hmm. about. And while it may be a useful tool to examine personality traits, which might not show up on like an IQ test, the Rorschach test is actually pretty controversial because it's very subjective, both on the side of the person taking the test, but also the person grading the test. Yeah, but controversial or not, we wanted to take this personality test ourselves, and mind you, it was not administered by a licensed psychologist. <laughs> yes. <laughs> licensed. Yeah, what But it was administered by a licensed North Carolinian. Yeah. Stevie. Woo! Do you have your license? What? Well, yes. Uh, <laughs> no. It... Yeah. Driver's well, license, it. anything will work. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll look later. Okay. okay, and while there is an, a very extensive scoring system for the official Rorschach test, we opted for the less extensive scoring system of Stevie. Yes, that's right. Stevie administered the test to both of us separately by showing us all 10 of the ink blots using the test. And so much fun. I have no idea what you said, and I do not remember what I said, but we're about to find out because we're gonna watch our reactions and then Stevie's gonna compare our answers to some of the most common responses to the test to determine what that reveals about us. Okay, uh, let's take a look at our test footage. Rep. Stevie. Welcome. Thank you. Charles. Oh, it's like that, huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm going to show you these cards and you're gonna tell me what you see. Oh, okay. First of all, are there right answers? Because I like to win. Let's begin, shall we? What do you see in this image? Um, an angry pelvis. I know what a pelvis looks like because I've seen mine. I have a happy pelvis. Happy pelvises make people happy. I see two birds going. Happy birds? I think it's birds that are just showing off. It's birds that are like, look at our breasts! Breasts. Yeah, but not breasts in like a sexual way, like a bird breast. When I think of chicken breasts, I don't think of sex. Okay. Most of the time. Do you see boobies? I could see some little boobies. Let me see the boobies. Yeah, Talk, right, show me the boobies. Right there, little boobies. Headless woman boobies. If this were a game of spot the boobies. Hey, boobies right there. Booby there, a booby there. Okay. And that might be like a nipple while it's cold. I usually only see boobies when I close my eyes, but every time I close my eyes. Hmm. That's nice. <laughs> I mean, we weren't talking about boobies, Stevie, until you started talking about yeah. boobies. So is that, to... is that the official psychology sort of like- You see any boobies? Path? It's like to uh -huh. ask, do you see any boobies? Is that what they do? <laughs> yes, I studied. I studied the North Carolina handbook on oh, Rorschach. Tests. North Carolina psychological handbook says, ask the subject, uh, do they see boobies? So the common responses to card number one, which this is card number one, there's there's yeah, 10 yeah, cards yeah. and they're all labeled, are bat, butterfly, and moth, okay. uh, which you um, did not say. <laughs> <laughs> no pelvis. Um, it's the first card in the test, so it, it basically is how you approach this image may signify how you approach a new and stressful task. So that's one thing that they're looking for. I definitely went back to a moment of stress. You did, yeah. I mean, it, my pelvis was broken. And I'm not particularly scared of birds, especially like confident birds. I guess the whole boobies thing, it can be an erotic response, but it can also symbolize a yearning for care. I like so, to care. So you're talking about you now. I, yeah, I'm, I'm talking about me. How about this one? This is a surprised bearded man with blood coming out of his mouth and blood coming out of his eyes. 
This is bloody. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. These are the bloody eyes. Okay. This is the mouth, and this is the beard. He's surprised, oh. and there's blood just coming out. I could say that's a tongue, and then there's blood here in the beard. I tend to see two different things coming together to do something, and here I see two beings kneeling at, at each other and going like this. Like this. Yes. But then they're bleeding because their knees hit. This blood is actually behind them because they did it before back there. There's a It's a perspective. They were like, again. let's try this again and see if we can, don't get bloody knees. And like, dang it, we did it again and our knees are bleeding. What if I said this was like two garden gnomes and they're, they're going like this with their hands like this? Yes. What? Do you see that? My hand's sticky a little bit. It is a little sticky. <laughs> It, um, it's hair yes. product. Okay. I promise. All right. Good, good. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I, I promise. What is so wrong with that guy? First of all, he needs to clean up a little bit. Now, look, can I just point out the fact that you took the test before me, and Stevie asked you if you saw two gnomes touching like this, and then, without prompting, I saw two beings touching like this. Uh, yeah. So that's gotta be something, right? That's gotta be something significant, right? You're both equally dysfunctional. No, yes, no, exactly. No, but I, I wanna make a, an observation here. Seeing a, a Rorschach test and taking it as two things that are interacting with each other versus a, like a face. Like you saw a face I saw and I a, saw two things. And in the previous one I saw a pelvis and you saw two birds. And now in this one I see two beings doing something. So there's nothing in there about like people's tendency to see two things doing something together versus one thing. I don't have that, but I do have that the popular responses to this card include dog, elephant, bear, or two humans. Okay. So so, two so humans. the last one is two humans. Okay, so and I'm not the crazy. red marks are commonly seen as blood, which applied to both of you. Yeah. And the reaction to the red may indicate how the subject reacts to the feeling of anger or physical harm. So Link, you mentioned the shape first and then the color red, which could mean that you have a clear picture of reality and you add emotion when appropriate. Yeah. Rhett, you mentioned the color before noting the shape. Mentioning color first may be a sign that your emotions dominate rational thinking. Mm. Then again, if you were not to mention the color at all, that could mean you're suppressing emotion. Oh, so you know what? I've been in therapy for several years, so maybe th things are getting better. I'm seeing blood everywhere. <laughs> what about this one? Okay, this one. I do see boobies. This is two ladies uh -huh. that have the head of a bird and they have very pointy breasts, like in the 60s when they started wearing the, yes, uh, the, yes, the yes. pointy bras. Yeah. Okay, this is an insect alien creature in a bikini top. Okay. So like right here, I've got the bikini top. All right. And then these are insect arms. Okay. And then a bow tie. Mm. And they're like, you remember a second ago when we were standing up straight and our pointy boobies hit each other and we started bleeding? Well, actually what happened was mm -hmm. is that they did this they hit the boobs together, mm -hmm. and there was blood, and they recoiled and turned around, and then they threw blood up against the wall behind them. When they hit the boobies together, it was like a, like they. Do you want to try? You... Yeah. Well. I don't. It's a. We that did the hand. Feel, we did the I will hand. say that doesn't feel professional. Yeah. I guess the alien insect doesn't have a head. It's not that it's headless. It's that it doesn't have a head. And and the boobies are. Uh, here and here. That's good. I, I think we're making progress. All right. All right. So I don't I don't I don't so see what you just see. focus on this right here. This is a black bikini top on an insect abdomen. Okay, I can that, see that, yeah. Now when I said the two women thing, did you immediately see the two women? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we both see boobies, and I think so that's what's important. People usually see two human figures involved in some interaction on this okay. card. Reaction to this card may provide information on how the subject relates with other people. Rhett, you got very specific about the two human figures you saw and what they were doing. Violence. Seeing movement in the cards can be a sign of intelligence and creativity, so that's good. Um, and Link, you saw an alien, while most people see humans, not seeing humans in this card could mean an unusual reaction to social interaction. Well, that's, we already know that about him. An unusual uh -huh. reaction to social, social inter interaction? Yeah, yeah, just an unusual reaction. It's like, period. Why are these aliens talking to me? No, but look, I think, you know, I think we can get somewhere here because for three images in a row, 
I've seen two people doing something together and you've seen one person doing something. Yeah. Do you wanna go solo? Is that what you're saying? It's like. I think I tend to see symmetry within the context of the whole. That sounds smart. I don't, I don't know what it means, man. Um, please tell me I'm, I'm not dysfunctional. <laughs> Speaking of us working through our issues, um, we have a podcast where we do that pretty much every week. That's true. We just talk to each other about life. Uh, it is the most personal thing that we do on the internet. And if that kind of personal thing interests you, you should listen to our Ear Biscuit uh, podcast wherever podcasts are available. We also have a YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Ear Biscuits. please do it. So this is, this is just one big individual. It's actually a, very, it's a badger. This is an aerial view of like a bat creature flying. This is the bat's head, this is the bat's wings, and that is the, the bat's upturned tail. That looks like a chicken tail to me. I can buy that. Do you eat Never the chicken, chicken tail? Never seen a chicken tail. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Mm, juicy. That, that, that little, little nubbin. I'll eat that on a rotisserie. I was thinking it's like the point of view of a pedicurist. These are feet. <laughs> and this is, what is what is this in that between the is legs? Some, it's a stool or a chair of some sort. This is an incredibly large penis. And he is throwing out his legs mm -hmm. and he's also taking his little arms yeah. and he's just going like, look at my penis. <laughs> I was seeing at first, I was seeing you, because you're a very large man, right. and if you were to come get a pedicure, this is, I feel like, what the person doing your toes would see. I gotta be honest with you, my penis is not so long it goes past my feet. Pedicure! But, in my version... My head looks like a vagina! You you don't get to eat that, in, in my version. Well, I guess now... <laughs> Stevie, this is- this, I don't this, know what happened there. I think this is all just a study- I'm uncomfortable. In Stevie planning subconscious thoughts in our brain. She's, ma she's making us dirty. That. I did not I was talking about boobies, I okay? saw You make us dirty. I No, no, I saw a big penis, I, I own that. I, I saw a big penis, it was Yeah, the she first saw a thing. stool. And do you not see a badger's head? I mean, that is a badger's head if I've ever seen one. Popular responses are, Animal hide, skin, or rug. Mm. Which honestly, that is not that does not sound very like innovative or or thoughtful. Animal hide? Yeah. What? You're gonna see this is literally a two dimensional thing. Come well, on. Well, actually, you know, we don't have time to show all ten cards and our reaction to them. But in another one, I described it as an animal hide, which reminds me that we had so much fun uh, admi being administered this test that like we're gonna release. I will, I will call it uncut, even though it's still gonna be cut at The some rest sense. of the response. We're gonna release the rest of the responses. Five other responses. Over at the Mythical Society. So if you wanna see all of our responses to all of our cards and all the other nasty things that Stevie got us to think. It got very yeah, dirty. There's, some, there's, bo there's booby talk over there. That's our other podcast. And you know what? Uh, over on the Mythical Society, we're gonna make it free for anybody to watch the uncut Rorschach cards. All you gotta mm -hmm. do is sign up to be an initiate, which is the free tier to see Little bits and tids of everything Look, the mythical society. Tids, offers. come on, no tids. I mean, you can't get it out of your mind. <laughs> it's tids. Steve, what are tids? You. This is on you, Stevie. All right, my tids are on you. Okay, okay. Uh, boobies aside, let's talk about card number four here. So this shape is seen as big and threatening from an inferior position. Often subjects feel like they're looking up at it, giving the shape a sense of authority. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's known as the Father card. Which wow, okay. I, this is the first card we've encountered that has a, has a, a name. name like that, <laughs> oh, according wow. to my notes. Um, father card. How the subject reads this card may indicate their attitude toward men and authority. You both mentioned genitals yet again, so it's safe to say that you're not sexually frustrated. Who wrote this? What's happening? <laughs> I'm not sexually frustrated. E but if, I do oh, sexually frustrate. Oh, it says if there were no mention of sexual organs. That'd be unusual for this. Oh, good. Test. Okay, good. All right. 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 You're yeah. off the hook on this. We one. talked quite yeah. a bit about them. Okay. This is a colorful interpretation of the female anatomy. I wanted to give oh. you a little treat. Wow. For being such a good boy. Good lord. Mm, tell me about it. Again, I think that's a pelvis. This up here is um, a spleen. This person has two spleens. This is a child's art project. They were like, what we want you to do is we want you to pick your favorite country. Okay. And this child chose Italy. This is Italy. I could be wrong, but I think this is the eggs. Okay. A couple of fried eggs, but these are the actual ovaries. 
These are the birds that are native to Italy. This is the blue crab. It's actually native to Maryland, mm -hmm. but the Italians, have they love it. Each of the crabs is holding a traditional Italian leaf, a symbol of freedom. Okay. All right. And then you've got the fallopian tubes. All right. And then you've got the, uh, the, the baby shoot. Mm. This is two very small wolves fighting over a totem pole. And I don't know what this is. This is the only thing I can't figure out. What if I were to do this? Now I see Satan. <laughs> You see uh, Satan in the yeah, fallopian tubes? I did. I see. See, I I saw Satan here because this is like a weird sort of like Satan beak and eyes and horns. But when I was looking at it the opposite way, yeah, I just saw the the art project. But you forgot the most important thing about Italy, and that's the the Eiffel Tower. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. I, you know, sometimes sometimes I get my facts confused. Okay, so people often see. Things like crabs, lobsters, spiders, caterpillars, worms, and snakes in this card. Mm. You both broke the image down into subregions, which indicates common sense. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. yeah. Finally. Hey, and, hey, um, got something. Hey. As the last card of the test, subjects are presented with an opportunity to express their state of being or how they feel about their present situation. Rhett, you saw Satan in the final final moments of the test. Uh, sorry. Uh, so. I saw a baby shoot. Yeah. <laughs> this was fun. I don't know how I feel. I don't feel worse about myself. Oh, I mean, I think that they're out there. I feel good. Somewhere there is a class, like a psych 101 class, and the teacher has decided to be kind of hip and show this video today. So, and now we're speaking directly and, to so you. So class, listen, first of all, kudos to your teacher for making this decision. I mean, yeah. they could have just decided to speak themselves. <laughs> and you know, nobody likes that. So, uh, you know, kudos to them for showing this video. And now you tell us through your different ways that you do that on the internet, Twitter, whatever, uh, what you think about us. Give us a psych eval in the, in the comments because uh, I don't think we've achieved that today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And even if you're not in the class, let us know what, you, what you've learned about us today. And thanks for subscribing and clicking that boop. Class is over. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm Nathaniel from Trinidad. Just chilling. It's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Just chilling in Trinidad. We remember Love we did it. that? We, in middle school, we yeah, did that. Yeah, we, trill, we, we chilled, chilled in on Trinidad. a mission trip in Trinidad. <laughs> All right, click the top link to watch us play a game of Daddy, Buddy, Enemy with the founding fathers of science in Good Mythical Mole. And to find out where the Will of Mythicality is gonna land. Add some scientific magic to your Mythical Mug collection with the GMM Heat Activated Mug, available now at mythical.com.